All right, so today we're going to take a look at another one of the principles of design. We're going to focus on balance today, learning how when two, when two different elements of art become equalized in a composition. So everything seems balanced and the same and evenly weighted. We're going to look at the visual weight of things within a composition. There are three basic types of balance that we can look at in works of art. There is symmetrical balance, where everything is exactly the same from one side to the next, and it is totally even. I like to think about just a butterfly to represent that. There's also asymmetrical balance, where things are not exactly the same. Things may be slightly different, but it still has the same amount of visual weight from one side to the other. You may have something that's larger, balanced by many smaller things, but it still has a sense of equalized weight. And then the third type is radial balance. Radial balance is where it is balanced from a central point radiating out and around. So I like to think about looking at a flower or looking at a snowflake. Everything's radiating out from a single point in the middle. So to take a look at the first two types of balance today, we're going to start um, by seeing balance that is either based along a vertical line of symmetry or a horizontal line of symmetry. You could see examples of either one in your work of art. Um, typically, it's more common that you see a vertical axis point or line of, line of symmetry, um, but just know that sometimes there will be horizontal um, lines of symmetry as well. So today I'm going to show you the first two types of balance, symmetrical and asymmetrical. I'm going to show you how to diagram both of those. So we're going to take a look at one of Diego Rivera's paintings titled Flower Day from 1925. And you're going to get a piece of tracing paper and a pencil um, to diagram your own painting. I'm using overhead transparency and a dry, dry wet erase marker so that way you can see the painting really clearly. So once you get your painting, you are going to start off by titling this balance practice with your page number and your name. Outline the outside border of the image. That way you can see exactly, if that way I'll be able to see exactly where to line stuff up for grading. And then you're going to decide if your line of symmetry should be either vertically or horizontally across your painting. And I would say for this one, a nice centered vertical line will work best. Now once you have that done, the very next thing that you want to do is start, we're going to start circling the elements that create balance with one another across this type of, of type, across this type of symmetrical balanced artwork. So the first thing that I notice is of course this person centered in the middle of the composition. They land right along this line of symmetry perfectly centered, so the right side of their body is balancing out the left side of their body. Then I immediately notice that there is the figure of a young girl on the left, which is balanced out by the figure of the woman with a child on the right. So they're not exactly the same, but they're close enough and they're equally located that it makes a really nice type of symmetrical balance. Now also in the bottom of edge of this painting, there is um, a red shape. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but that shape is also nicely centered, so it creates balance within itself. And then if you move to the top of the composition, we see that there are the shape of the flowers on the left side is perfectly balanced to the shape of the flowers on the right side. There's also some other like more subtle things that we can look at within this composition. Um, we can also check out, it's a little hard to see, but there are very small two faces of people here in the background. And that is also equally balanced out, even though it's fairly dark, two more faces of people over here on this side. And then, within this person, we can break this down a little bit more. We have the shape of this white strap balancing itself out from the left to the right side. We have the perfectly centered hands and arms and the shapes of these leaves. 
all of those things are lined up kind of right along this line of symmetry. So that's a really great example of a symmetrically balanced. Everything is the same on the left and the right.